Well, too much screen time is some parents' worst nightmare, but one elementary school in Great Falls is putting down the textbooks and using iPads, computers, and technology to engage their students when learning. MTN's Elizabeth Transu takes us inside Giant Springs Elementary, where technology is the foundation of the school. When Giant Springs Elementary School was built, gone was the idea of a traditional classroom setting and in came this idea that students would have to interact with one another and have the day's lessons at the tips of their fingers. Definitely within the last 10 years to 15 years, I think there's been a, a dramatic change in, in how we look at how we teach, the type of curriculum we use, um, the technology that we integrate into that. And so it really has had a dramatic impact, I think, on how uh, we are going more towards an individual-based um, learning plan. Using a program called Success Maker, students can learn different elements that walk them through exercises and encourage them to progress. As you get better at it, you achieve a, a higher level of, of, of understanding. And much like a game, it's a fun, interactive, and competitive way for students to learn. Technology has um, the potential to have a major impact on student achievement. Uh, partly because it allows them to participate in the process and be an active participant uh, versus maybe someone that would be a student that would be sitting um, in a uh, traditional classroom where the teacher was lecturing all day and they were just taking notes. Now, this school will be used to model other schools in the district. But we do see this as a model that we can um, test out and see how this technology works in this building. And, and see if that is a good model moving forward. But uh, as we look at Longfellow coming down the, the road here, or where we sit right now is we are going to emulate this building for Longfellow. In Great Falls, Elizabeth Transu, MTN News. Another concern with this technology-based curriculum is the parents' understanding of these smart devices. Herring says they've considered having a teaching night for those parents who wish to learn more.